Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is uh, Tom Fisher, Nova Financial Services. As you, a lot of you know, I'm a financial planner, but by nature, I'm a very avid outdoor sports enthusiast and I enjoy bicycling and the outdoors and, and things like that. So in my trials and tours around the area, I came across uh, the Bicycle Ranch, which is a bicycle store in North Scottsdale near my office. And I had the opportunity to meet Marcus Zimmer, who is the owner of the Bicycle Ranch. So I wanted to introduce uh, Marcus Tom. and uh, just uh, talk to you a little bit today. What, um, you know, what's your bike, your background in the bicycling business? How did you get to be in this business? <laughs> yeah, pretty much just an enthusiast riding for fitness uh, and, uh, you know, one thing leads to another and all of a sudden I own the shop. <laughs> okay, good. What, uh, do you still ride a lot? Um, it, probably not as much as uh, before I owned the shop, but uh, we still have, um, we go to a lot of events, we have a great team, I try to support the team and ride with the team. Oh wow, you have a team, so elaborate on that a little bit. Tell me about the team. Yeah, we, uh, we use the team basically as the ambassadors for the shop. Um, we, um, we had some great success and, and they take that out into the public. It's, uh, it's probably the best marketing dollar that I'm spending. Wow, okay. What, uh, how many people are on the team? Uh, we have about 17 riders. We, uh, you know, we had a couple of state champions and national champions, so it's really? been going really well. All right, that's good. It's always good to have the top guys uh, yeah. on, on, on your side. So one of the other things that uh, people ask a lot of times are, you know, what are some of the tips and tricks that you should be looking for in bicycling? I mean, what are some of the main things to look out for? Well, next to, of course, always wearing your helmet, is probably checking your tire pressure. Uh, if you're unsure about the tire pressure, it's typically on the sidewall of your rim. Uh, for uh, you know, cruiser and hybrid bikes, it's somewhere in the 40 to 60 psi, and the road bikes a little bit higher, up to 100 psi. Okay. Yeah, I know nothing, nothing worse than sitting there fixing a flat tire on the side of the trail or the road. Probably the number one reason why people have a you know miserable ride because <laughs> they get a flat. Absolutely. I see that you've got. I mean, you've got just tons of inventory in here, all levels of bicycles. I mean, it seems, you know, could you elaborate on that a little bit? I mean, it seems like yeah, you got something we, for everybody. We pride ourselves to be in a performance shop. We have a fit studio where we have fitted professional riders. So we have all the way from a $10,000 road bike down to the $120 kit bike and anything in between. Okay, so this really is a shop for for a lot of different people. We're not just looking... We would like to think we cover the whole gamut. Cover yeah. the whole gamut, right. We're not just looking for professional road racers or anything like that. It's really for families and everything. That's good to know. Tell me a little bit about the inverse cycling program that you've got going on here. Well, what we have over here is um, indoor cycling studio where uh, you ride um, on a trainer, uh, but you ride along virtual courses that uh, where somebody went out and shot it in high definition. So okay. it's a very realistic, lifelike uh, way to, to be cycling. Okay, sort of like uh, golfing, the indoor golf thing where they've got, you can play very Pebble much Beach if, if you want. Yeah, if it's uh, too hot or too rainy or too cold outside, uh, people come in here and ride their favorite course in Italy and or uh, somewhere, you know, usually somewhere in Europe where it's a little bit... Uh, well, that's got to be a good idea. When it's 115 out in Scottsdale, you could uh, come in the air conditioning and ride through the mountains of France. So that sounds pretty neat. That's right. I have to tell you that one of the reasons that I came back a couple times before I even met you is because of the attitude that was here. I've been in and out of a lot of different bicycle shops and motorcycle shops and different things over the years. And because maybe I'm wearing a tie or something, you don't think you judge a book by its cover and a lot of times you'll get a guy who is giving you some attitude or you ask some questions about a bicycle or something and instead of being treated like they don't have the time for you I was always had my questions really well answered and you know can I help you I had to return something once and your guy at the front took care of it no problem no questions asked and I just that's why I kept coming back. So I just, uh, you yeah. know, you didn't know that those <laughs> things, but I thought those were good to Thank tell you. you. <laughs> yeah, people, uh, people want to ride. They don't need to ride in this town. So definitely, you need to take care of your customers, just like I imagine in any other business. Right. No, well, that's good. Any, uh, any final words of wisdom or anything? I mean, what? Uh, yeah, in, especially in the seat, a lot of uh, bikes sit in the garage and and only get infrequent use. So, you know, we are always encouraged to bring the bike by every six months or at the, every year at the latest. So, uh, you know, 
Before you go out and start riding, bring your bike in, have it checked out, see if it needs some service. Uh, you can always roll it into the shop and see, uh, ask us if it needs some service to make sure you got a good experience. That's good. I know for a fact the one thing that can make you more, you know, you finally get some time to break away and go for a ride and your gears are skipping, your brakes are hanging up or something like that, it sure does make you mad. Exactly. So getting your bike <laughs> running the best it can is good. Uh, do, any, uh, you know, any special offers or anything you want to talk yeah, about out there? If, uh, if your viewers mention your show, um, come into the shop and uh, mention that they've seen me and you on on the show will offer half price service for the summer. Really? Half price service? Well, heard it that right here from the owner that uh, if you get your bike worked on, bring it in to Marcus and his super high-end uh, service shop here and make sure your bike is running perfectly. So, hey, I wanted to thank you for tuning in. I know you have a lot of things that you can view on the internet and if you are watching this show, really appreciate it. Please uh, feel free to you know, share this with other people, put it out on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, subscribe to my blog if you uh, like these kinds of things. So again, it's Tom Fisher of Nova Financial Services, Marcus Zimmer of the Bicycle Ranch. Till the next time, thank you.